Welcome back to the Watch Review, folks. Here we have a Cadison C8208. Uh, this is a uh, homage of the Seamaster 300, which is um, the vintage uh, model. Uh, this one has a blue dial with a granite style um, dial, as you can see in the lighting here. It also has a uh, blue bezel, and the bezel is in ceramic. As far as the dial, it's got a sandwich dial, so you can see it's got the vintage uh, markers, and they're sandwiched into the dial. Uh, it has the broad arrow R hand, and it's a beautiful watch, very, uh, very vintage, uh, and, it, and basically uh, exactly alike. Uh, from the original uh, Seamaster 300. Now this one uh, has a uh, Seiko NH35A movement, which is a 24 joule hacking automatic movement, which are very accurate and and very reliable. So this one has that movement inside. Uh, this one has uh, the dial has a uh, date window between the four and the five position. Uh, it has a domed sapphire crystal. As far as the crystal goes, uh, I'm not sure if it has an anti-reflective coating on it, but it's got a little bit of distortion uh, on it. Uh, but it's a it's a domed crystal, and it's um, it's not a double domed; it's a single domed. So uh, sometimes single domed crystals will have distortion. Uh, depending on the lighting and the circumstances. Uh, this watch um, has is all solid stainless steel all the way through. Uh, brushed, all brushed. It's got a little bit of polishing on the corners here, but mostly brushed and it's very well made as far as the stainless steel and the uh, finish on it. Very well finished uh, on every side and as well as the bracelet the bracelet is an oyster style bracelet and it's very well finished it's got a dual deployment on it it's got the Cadison uh, embossed name on it uh, this uh, the, the the clasp is all milled it's not uh, thin it's very thick and it's, it's well constructed uh, very well constructed as far as the bracelet and the case goes on this watch i'm going to show you the case back case back on it is uh screwed down and then it's got um the design in the back uh goggles and then you got your water resistancy it's, it's, it's got good water resistancy um so it's it's a well-made watch let me uh go ahead and give you a wrist shot of this watch and here's a wrist shot, folks, of the watch. The watch wears well. It's uh, it's it's pretty thick. It's about uh, 13 and a half, close to 14, almost. That's 13 and a half, I would say. It the case measures 38 millimeters. Um, so it's a 38 millimeter case for somebody that doesn't like to wear big watches. This is a perfect sport watch. Uh, for everyday use and it's really elegant at the same time with that um, ceramic vessel and the blue dial the blue dial on the vessel uh, really makes this watch pop and then the vintage uh, markers it really looks good really nice looking watch and hefty and and well made as you can see let me go ahead and uh, try to get you a, a loom shot of the watch and here's a loom shot, folks. As you can see, it has C3 Super Luminova. It's a green Luminova, and it's got great loom on the markers and the hands and in the pit of the bezel. Really nice loom. Overall, folks, uh, you won't go wrong with this one. Uh, if you like the Omega Vintage uh, 300, uh, you can't... Uh, Go on, go on and spend maybe nine ten thousand dollars for that watch you can get something like this which is very good quality solid stainless steel ceramic bezel sapphire crystal uh, sandwich dial 
I mean, you, this has got it all automatic movement for a fraction of the price. Um, you won't go wrong with something like this. Uh, thanks for watching the review. Please subscribe. It'll help the channel to bring more uh, watches and content. Thank you.